So far in this series of videos, we've talked about the first kiss. We've talked about why the groom always has his bride on his left hand side and why sometimes he doesn't. You'll just have to watch the video. In this episode, we're going to talk about the aisle runner. Why is it sometimes red, sometimes white? Where did this superstition come from? Stick around, I'll be right back. Well, hello and welcome to Ceremony TV. I'm John Beck, your Melbourne marriage celebrant. So in today's episode, we're gonna find out a little bit more about the aisle runner. Now the use of the aisle runner at a wedding ceremony originated out of superstition. You see, in the early Roman times, it was believed that evil spirits lived under the ground. And brides used to be carried to the ceremony to protect her from those evil spirits. Now one day, a clever Roman decided to build a stone pathway as a barrier to protect the bride so they didn't have to carry her anymore. Now, this created a whole new problem because you see in those early days, obviously roads weren't made and they were dirty and guests would end up trailing in a lot of dirt and mud. So as dresses became a lot more elaborate and expensive, obviously they wanted to keep those dresses clean. So along come another very clever Roman and decided to put down a piece of carpet. This obviously provided a clean area for the bride to walk on, as long as the guests stayed off it. Now, why are they sometimes red and sometimes cream? You probably know the answer to the red. Uh, a red carpet is, is to give someone special, someone important, a welcome. Traditionally, it was used by royalty. So the red carpet is also a symbol of good luck and good fortune. Now, traditionally, the white carpet symbolizes a pathway to purity or walking on holy ground. So it's a bit more wedding orientated. So as a bit of a thought, uh, why not have a red carpet for your guests as they arrive to your ceremony and have the cream carpet for yourself. <laughs> 